Hello brothers and sisters, I am Dr. Suma Rao, a dental specialist from Chennai. For the last six months, we have seen that the coronavirus infection has turned the entire world upside down, bringing in a lot of fear and anxiety among the people. The World Health Organization, that is the WHO, and the Center for Disease Control, CDC, are the two governing bodies which actually monitor this pandemic. So any information you want regarding the coronavirus, please look up their websites because they keep on updating and give about factual information. Now, according to the WHO, there are three routes by which this coronavirus infection can spread from a person to person. Number one is when in direct contact with an infected person, Number two, a person who is infected, he may be showing symptoms or he may not show any symptoms. That is, he may be an asymptomatic carrier, but when he coughs, sneezes or even talks, these droplets can get expelled out of his body and cause infection in another person who is standing close by. It is today even known that these droplets can land on certain inanimate objects like door handles or desktop. And when the next person comes and touches it and then ends up touching his face, he may actually get the infection. In fact, a recent study showed that on an average, a person touches his face 23 times in an hour. Recently, the WHO has also concluded that the virus can get transmitted in an airborne manner. That is, the expelled droplets can remain in the air for a few hours, especially if the room is small or closed and cause infection to the people in the room. Now, all of us are aware that in order to prevent the coronavirus infection, we have to wear the mask, we have to wash our hands regularly and follow social distancing. Today's video is about the do's and don'ts which have to be followed when we use the mask. But let me start by making it very clear that just wearing a mask will not prevent the coronavirus infection. The WHO has issued certain guidelines for the use of mask. Now all of us are familiar with these terminologies. This is the very popular N95 mask. According to the WHO, the N95 mask is to be used only by healthcare workers or those who are caring for the COVID-19 patients. Overuse of these masks by the general public will result in a shortage for the healthcare workers, which is very, very critical for their safety. Now, the other popular type of mask is the non medical mask or the cloth mask. Now, this is a very popular brand of uh, commercially available cloth mask, and it claims that there are six layers in the mask. Now, the WHO recommends that whenever you are using a cloth mask, there should be at least a minimum of three layers of cloth, the innermost being the cotton one and the outermost of some synthetic material so that it does not absorb the saliva or the sweat. Maintaining this cloth mask clean is very, very important. So, after every use, it is critical that we wash this cloth mask. And the WHO recommends that the mask can be washed along with the other clothes in the washing machine. But it is better and safer to use heat or hot water up to 60 degrees in order to sanitize this mask. Of course, being in a tropical country like India, after washing the mask, we can always put it out in the sunlight to dry. Never touch the outer or the inner surface of the mask. Always hold the mask by the loops and then Carefully slip it over your ears. Adjust the nose strip or the metal strip so as to adapt to the shape of your nose and the mask should come up to the lower border of your chin. Even when you are removing the mask, you need to just hold it by the loops and take it out. These commercial masks come in different sizes and you need to select one that fits the size of your face. This is the medical or the surgical mask and similar to your cloth mask, do not touch the outer or the inner surface. 
Just hold the mask by the loop and then stretch it over your ears. Adjust the nose strip so that it creates a good seal in this area and then pull the mask down so that the entire chin gets covered by the mask. For those of us who are wearing spectacles, fogging is a very big problem. So what I do is, first I wear the mask, adjust it properly in this area and then wear my spectacles over the mask. Many of us have a tendency to wear this mask in different ways. Perhaps due to some difficulty in breathing or sweating around the nose, very often people wear the mask like this. But I just have to re remind you that the nose also is a very important point of entry for the coronavirus infection. Some of us also wear the mask like this because we have a wrong notion that our voice may not be carried on to the opposite person. And very often we see that this is the status of the mask, more like a decorative neck piece. But the ultimate is leaving the mask dangling like this. Instead of this, you might as well not wear the mask at all. Remember that the surgical mask is meant to be disposable and single use only. But it has been observed, perhaps because of the cost factor or because of the short supply of masks, many of us tend to reuse this mask. Let us presume that you have worn the mask today for just about 10 minutes and you want to store this mask and repeat using it tomorrow also. Now you have to understand the fact that when you have worn the mask outside the house and in a public place, there is a possibility that the outer surface of the mask is infected with the coronavirus. Imagine that the outer surface of the mask is very dirty and hence you should not touch it. So if you want to store the mask, you are supposed to fold the mask inside out and carefully place it in a paper bag and seal it. The next day when you need to take out the mask, you just have to hold it by the loops, pull it out and then as I showed earlier, just place it on your face. Take great care to see that the outer surface of the mask remains outside and the inner surface remains inside, especially when you're reusing it. Imagine today you've worn it like this. Tomorrow, if you're going to wear it like this due to some confusion, you will be inviting the coronavirus infection. So in order to prevent that, what you can do is, the first day when you're using the mask, you can put a small pen mark here on the outer surface so that you continue to wear it in the same way. Before reusing, always inspect whether the mask is soiled, damaged or damp. In such a case, please discard the mask. Otherwise, you will be wearing it with a false sense of security without actually getting the protection. While disposing or discarding the mask, we must remember that this mask is going to be handled by the sanitation workers and hence it is our moral duty to protect them also. In such a case, as I mentioned earlier, you need to fold the mask inside out and lightly roll it like this. And you can even just secure it like this and then dispose it in a bin. So hope these tips were useful to you. So please wear the mask with great care. Stay safe and stay healthy. Until I see you next time, signing off, this is Dr. Sumarao. Thank you.